Well, speaking of time, it is high time to buy presents if you are planning to celebrate Christmas. Now, maybe an expensive watch is on your wish list. Will that make you happy? Well, we've decided this week on Made in Germany to ask the questions, can you buy happiness and how do you measure happiness? Well, we're going to pull in an expert to help us do that. He is Karl Heinz Ruck Riegel. He's an economics professor and a happiness researcher. There are such things as happiness researchers from the University of Applied Sciences in Nuremberg. Mr. Ruck Riegel, you know, my mother has always said that you can't buy happiness. Are you here today to debunk motherly wisdom? She was totally true in said what she said and uh, if we think if we take into consideration the research work we have seen during the last uh, 50 years or so then we can see on the one on the one hand an increase in the uh, GDP per capita mm -hmm. uh, dramatically in the Western industrialized countries but on the other hand we cannot see an increase in the in, in the question of to be satisfied was life. Why do you think, though, that um, economics needs to worry about happiness? I mean, economics is a science. Uh, I don't think that economics needs to worry because happiness is part uh, of the economics thinking. Because uh, the decisive point in this case is that uh, first we have to ask the question, what is decisive in our life? And if we go back to Aristoteles, uh, he said that the decisive point is that we try to uh, reach happiness in our life. So the next point is, if this is our aim, uh, what can we do to reach this aim? And this is an economic yeah, uh, question. Well, that's the point, isn't it? I, I mean, everyone wants to reach happiness. Yes. But most people can't be happy if they're having to worry about having a job and making money. And, and in this crisis that we've just gone through, a lot of people are finding out that they're without work or they're losing their homes. I mean, they're going to laugh at us when we tell them that they should be looking for happiness. Uh, so I think we have to be, uh, we have to uh, differentiate between the situation in Germany on the one hand and maybe in the United States on the other hand. In Germany, if you look at the figure uh, in the field of unemployed people, so we have only seen a small increase until now. And uh, the point is, on the one hand, it's clear from happiness research that uh, getting unemployed is uh, very negative for uh, the satisfaction with life. But uh, we have also to take into consideration that uh, happiness or how to get happiness is not only uh, concentrated on the question of a job. There are other factors which are similar, important for happiness. Let, let's take a look at a graph. We've got a graphic right now we want to show people that um, we've been measuring happiness here in Europe. And surprisingly, the Germans are not um, very happy, although they haven't been hit with high unemployment as the Americans have, as you were talking about. As we see there, uh, people in Denmark seem rather happy with their lives. Um, also in the Netherlands, the Germans are not. Um, a very small percentage of Germans, I think only 17% say that they are satisfied with their lives. Why do you think that number is so low? So if we uh, compare the situation uh, in Germany with maybe the Scandinavian countries as Denmark and so on, we can uh, see that in these countries we have two facts which are extraordinary. On the one hand, the trust in other people and on the other hand, the question of equality. They are people are more equal than we are. We are. And uh, what, what, you mean, what are they, how are they more equal? In money and so on. Okay, so there, there aren't, there's not a big disparity yes, between yes, rich yes, and poor. The range is not so, so big. Uh, and uh, so uh, next point is, uh, some weeks ago I saw a very interesting uh, uh, work and this work dealt with the question how we perceive the world. And so in this uh, research work, it was interesting that uh, Germans receive the world more negatively and less positively compared with, uh, for example, Denmark and so on. And this was a dramatic uh, difference in okay. both perception. Mr. Rigo, we're going to have to um, stop right now with the happiness because we're going to have to move on. Thank you very much for stopping in to talk with us today.